Hello and welcome to today's Tech Talk where we peel back the layers of software development practices. If you are a developer or simply a tech curious, you come to the right place. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated with our series on Software Insights. Today we are discussing the concept of host target development, a fundamental approach in creating software that stands the test of varying environments. Let's take a deep dive. So most software development occurs in dualistic environments. The software is developed in one computer known as the host, but is intended to run on a separate machine referring to as the target. More broadly, this involves a development platform and an execution platform. But let's be clear, a platform is not just a piece of hardware, it encompasses the operating system and other supportive software, for instance, a database management system on an execution platform or for development platforms, an interactive development environment is crucial. Now, take a look at this illustration. On the left, we have the host, which includes our development platform with tools like IDs, compilers, and testing utilities, the essential toolkit for any software craftsman. On the right side is our target, the execution platform where the software comes to live. Here we find the necessary libraries, related systems, and databases that support the running application. It's important to note that these platforms often differs significantly. The development platform is equipped with tools tailored for building and testing software. In contrast, the execution platform is optimized for running the software efficiently, possibly on a completely different architecture. In practice, though, what we develop in our comfortable and familiar environment must transition smoothly to potentially foreign execution platform. This transition is pivotal, and understanding the intricacies of both platforms is essential, essential for seamless deployment. And that, dear viewers, is the dance of host target development in the software world. For those who want to delve deeper, I recommend exploring more case studies and real-world examples. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this overview helpful and share your thoughts or questions in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe for more insights into the world of software engineering. Until next time, keep coding and stay brilliant.